Here are four new Mac games from October 2023. Number one, we have Everspace 2. Everspace 2 is a fast-paced, single-player, spaceship shooter with exploration in space and on planets. It has tons of loot, RPG elements, mining and crafting. Experience an exciting sci-fi story set in a vivid, handcrafted open world full of secrets, puzzles and perils. The game supports Unreal Engine 4.27.2, AMD FSR 1.0, the Metal API, and runs natively on Apple Silicon Macs. The bad news is that HDR is not enabled on Mac or Windows PC. Rockfish told me at this time HDR is not supported in Everspace 2. In our experiments, we found HDR to consistently cause crashes in game. And as we are a small team, we haven't been able to devote the resources to make it work in a way we're satisfied with. It's worth noting, the game is best played on an M2 Pro or higher Mac. Rockfish did tell me M1 Pro and larger M1 systems will probably be able to play, but we never had an opportunity to test those. In the end, it's mostly about GPU horsepower, which is why even older Intel processors are probably okay, as long as they are paired with a decent dedicated GPU. Everspace 2 is available for Mac via Steam and offers a free demo. See a list of officially supported devices on screen now. Number two is Fort Zolas. Fort Zolas is a story-driven thriller on a red planet. Responding to an unusual alarm call from a remote mining base, Jack arrives at the dark and desolate Fort Zolas. With storm warnings imminent, he heads inside to make desperate contact. As the night grows longer, events escalate, spiral out of control, and the mystery of what happened to the crew begins to reveal itself. I will say, I don't think everyone watching will love this game. It's so slow paced, you can't really even run, and it requires a lot of exploring. In many ways, it's a walking simulator that has a good atmosphere. Anyway, it's one of the few Unreal Engine 5 games on Mac apart from the Layers of Fear 2023 remake. Dear Villagers told me the Mac port has been in production since June 2023. It has Unreal Engine 5.2 features, such as Nanite and Lumen, but those features are not supported on Apple M1 devices right now, only M2 and above. It also supports the Meta Human Framework and Metal 3 and Metal FX. Dear Villagers also shared some screenshots with me of the game under Xcode. This is from an M2 Pro Mac Mini. Ford Zolus is available for Mac via the App Store and Steam. While it's supported on all Apple Silicon Macs, the optimization of the game is not amazing. It's, it's pretty bad, really. It's best played on an M1 Max or higher device. Even my M2 Max device can only play the game at 1080p low to actually be playable. This must be improved ASAP, as most Mac gamers don't even have these machines and this performance is just unacceptable, I'm sorry. Number three, we have Total War Pharaoh. Pharaoh once again bring Mac gamers another Total War entry. The old Pharaoh is dead and Egypt awaits a new ruler. The cataclysmic events of the Bronze Age collapse have brought this magnificent civilization to the brink of civil war and for those who make claim to the pharaoh's throne. Bloody conflict is all but inevitable. Enemy armies are not the only challenges to overcome on the battlefield here. You need to lead your soldiers through sudden and dramatic shifts in weather, such as torrential rain and sandstorms that impact the terrain and can turn the tide of battle. Pretty cool. Beware too the threat of fire, as battles can easily become engulfed in flames. The Mac port is excellent, Metal 3 support, and runs natively on Apple Silicon machines, and it comes with a benchmark mode that will help you to find the best performance on your Mac. Make sure to use the resolution scale for even better performance. Note, it does not support cross-platform multiplayer with Windows PC, it's only Mac to Mac. Feral told me this is due to the Windows version using maths libraries that are different to the macOS libraries. 
Furthermore, I don't really play these games, I don't really know what to do, but I've seen online people saying things like, this game is basically Total War Troy set in Egypt with workforce added. The game is a little pricey for what you get is the general gist of what I'm seeing, but I'll leave that up to you. Total War Pharaoh is available for Mac via Steam and will come to the App Store at some point later. It is only supported on Apple Silicon Macs. Number four is Sailblazers. Technically, this game was released on the 30th of September, but I completely missed it and I want to talk about it here, so I'm putting it in this list. To be fair, I only knew about the Mac release of Sailblazers after the developer contacted me on Discord. So thanks for that. Sailblazers is an open world survival shopkeeping simulation RPG for one to eight players. You will survive against cowboys, samurai, and demons while building a cozy shop. Airstrike told me we are self-published because our game is insane in scope across several genres and the content we already have in early access can easily get 50 hours of play. You've got three biomes, three bosses, several mini bosses, a main narrative campaign, several side quests, cross-play with Windows PC and Mac is supported, and a few things that I don't want to spoil is what they said. Even with all this content, the game is still very much in early access. Early, early access. It's a little janky, if I'm honest, and there are some bugs, but the dev seems passionate about their game, and I have faith that it really can go places. The concept overall is cool too, and it's really fun to play with some buddies online. There isn't much like Sailblazers on Mac, so it's worth checking out. It's also native on Apple Silicon, which is cool to see from a small dev. Sailblazers is available for Mac via Steam. It's officially supported on all Apple Silicon Macs. What do you think of these new Mac games from October 2023? Are you impressed or disappointed? Another month passes with few releases, sure, but it's still good to see bigger games releasing on our platform, even if many are not the best optimized. We have another Apple event in only a few days, and it looks like it will be focused quite heavily on Mac gaming, according to the rumors. So let's see what happens and uh, yeah, go from there. Anyway, leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Mac gaming related. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.